Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Janice, if you're new here. So today's video, I'm gonna show you a few shoes that I really like that are wide foot friendly. So if you've watched any of my other videos, I always say I'm a woman's size nine US in shoes. I'm pretty tall, I'm five nine, so typically the taller you are, the bigger the foot you have. Um, and my foot is a little bit on the wider side. My right foot is okay. My left foot has a bit of a bunion, which can be quite painful if my shoes are not wide enough. So trust when I say, if I'm saying a shoe is comfy, trust me, it is comfy. And even if you don't have wide feet, um, most of you will probably like these shoes. So I just wanted to share that with you because I know it can be a struggle to find some of them. I've made lots of videos in the past about barefoot shoes. I really like those for working out, going on walks, um, even for traveling, hiking. So definitely check those out. I'll leave some of those in the down bar. And yeah, let's get into it. So some of these, if I don't remember the exact model name, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it on the screen and I will link everything I can in the down bar. If for some reason I can't find something, I will let you guys know. So first up, um, something that might surprise you is Vans. They actually fit pretty wide. So I have three pairs here. So I actually had a patient tell me once, she's like, I can't wear Vans because my foot is really narrow and they're too wide. And I'm like, well, I have the exact opposite problem. So this is just um, the regular Vans. So this is the low one. This is the all white. You can see what it looks like. It is deceiving because the toe is a little bit almond shaped, but I find them, they're pretty good for wide feet. So if you've never tried them, check them out. I find these are comfier than Air Force Ones. Air Force Ones are, I just, I think the sole is too thick. It doesn't allow my big toe to like move freely. So I don't find those comfy for my feet, but Vans are pretty darn comfy. So I think in order of comfiness, I like the regular flat ones. That's kind of at the bottom of my list. Then I like the platform version. Don't worry, I'm gonna wash my hands right after this. I know some of these are dirty. I don't know why the platform version, maybe it's just the color. I don't know why. I find that a little bit comfier. No clue why. The most comfy though, I'll show you. These are pretty new. I got these at Essence and there are these ones, the high top version. I love these. I have worn these on walks where I've walked 30,000 steps. My feet don't hurt at all, okay? And for reference, these are a size nine. So they fit true to size in my opinion. I'm just double checking, making sure they're all a size nine. Yep, they are. So if I had to tell you one, I find the ones with, this isn't a high top, it's like more a mid top. These are the most comfy by far. And they had a light blue version, which I'm thinking maybe I should order because when I find a comfy shoe, I just, I don't want to let them go. I don't, I get nervous that they're going to stop making it. So definitely this would be my go-to and I've worn this with like a long skirt, a long dress that looks cute, jeans, black leggings, black pants, what have you, looks really good. So next up is this Reebok shoe. So I'll put the name of it across the screen. So for size reference, I am a size eight and a half US in this. So size down half a size. So I have actually bought this exact shoe five times. So I have currently, I have three pairs of them. So I've ordered three pairs of this black and white. I have an all white pair. And then I also used to have a cream color pair. So that tells you that they're comfy, that I've ordered five pairs of them and they're very affordable. I always find them on sale for around like 60 some dollars. Um, for whatever reason, I find them just a very good athletic shoe. I have ran in them. Um, I prefer another pair for that, but they're really good just to wear to the gym. And I find the black and white just look good with everything. Like every gym outfit I have, these look really good. Um, they're pretty flexible. I like how the back comes up a little bit higher. You can slide your foot in there. Another hack is, and I'll leave the link of a couple of videos in the down bar, is how you tie your shoes. So if you've never tied your shoes for wide feet before, or if you have a bunion, you can leave the the tie off here where your bunion is, that is really, really helpful. So one of my patients who does Ironman triathlons, one day he tied my shoes for me at work and it really made a big difference. So the black and white 
and the white I really like and go down half a size in these. So next up I have this Nike Zoom shoe um, and I got this at Essence and this is actually from the men's section but I do think they make it in women's as well. Um, I think I just ordered from the men's and men's shoes if you don't know tend to be a little bit wider fitting so always if there's a men's option just always buy that because the fitting is a little bit different it's always wider I got this in a men's size US 8 so I think that's a little bit bigger than I would normally get but just for reference so it's a euro 41 and normally I'm a Euro 40, so yeah, this is like a size bigger and a US 8. So maybe that's why it's comfy, but oh my god, it is so comfy. It's very springy at the back. Again, it looks great with everything. I've worn these on very long walks. Um, yeah, even when I'm holding it up, it does look a little bit bigger. Almost looks like just a shorter version of like a basketball shoe. Really comfy, and they were on sale. They were, again, I think under $100. I really, really like these. So I really like Yeezy shoes. Um, most of them, I mean, these are a little out of style right now, but most of them do fit pretty wide. Actually, when I first took them out of the box, when I got them, like, these are the ugliest things I've ever bought. Like, look how big they are, but they're really comfy. And they always come in men's sizes, just so you know. And these are a men's size 8 as well. And yeah, they're just really comfy. Again, I've taken these on lots of trips. I also have Yeezy boots before. I've linked those videos in the down bar and they're super, super comfy as well. So I don't own any of the high heels, but the running shoes, in my opinion, are very good. You can see, like it's just a very wide fitting shoe. So these are my running shoes and my cousin that likes to run gave me the tip of buying men's Asics. And these are a little bit big. I got them uh, maybe half a size big just to allow for swelling. I got them in a men's size 8. These are a men's shoe. And I think these are like an extra wide men's. Even though they don't really look, like compared to the Yeezy ones, the Yeezy definitely looks even a little bit wider. So even if it's a men's extra wide, sometimes it's not super wide. But um, also too, I tied them where I left the laces off here where my bunion is and I find them really comfy. And I usually just use these for really long walks or, but usually runs. And I'm not a runner or anything like that. I usually just go for jogs, but I find these very comfy men's Asics. I've had tons of different Asics in the past. Um, yeah, but I'll leave these ones linked below. I forget the exact model, but yeah, Asics are really, really good. So you guys might have seen before, but I have reviewed Feel Grounds Barefoot Shoes. I'm a size 40 in these, so they fit true to size. I have the high top version here. These are super comfy, all quarantine. I would wear these on walks as well. My feet have never, ever hurt. And again, this is my favorite model. I don't know, something about this height for my foot and ankle. It makes the shoe very, very comfy. I love these. Um, another thing to look for when you buy shoes, if the sole can do this, it's going to be a lot more comfier for your feet and your toes should splay out. It's good for your hip health. It activates your glutes. So if you want bigger glutes, um, barefoot shoes are the way to go. So the thing that is cool about this company is it's a barefoot shoe, but it doesn't look like a barefoot shoe, right? Like when you look at this, it just looks like a normal shoe. I also have this version here, which is great. I've been wearing these lots. Um, this version, even though it's a size 40, it does fit a little bit looser because it doesn't come up high on the back. These are great. I've had other pairs that I've worn out at work, um, but those that company is great. Love it. Another barefoot shoe company that I really like is Vivo Barefoot, and these are more an athletic shoe. So I personally, I wear these to the gym or for hiking, things like that. So I have four models here. I've owned quite a few more in the past. I've just worn them out over the years. So my favorite from Vivo Barefoot is the Primus Light Shoe. So this is just a shoe I wear to the gym. I love it for leg days. I find you can really grip the floor. Like say if you're deadlifting, you're hip thrusting, you can really grip the floor and plant your big toe in. So this is my favorite model. This model is the Primus Trail. So it's pretty much the exact same. It's just a thicker sole. So it protects your feet more if you're doing trail runs or if you're just hiking over rocks, things like that. It's a little bit more protective. And I should say I'm a women's size 40 in these as well. So they fit true to size. 
I also have this shoe. I forget what this one's called. My boyfriend calls it a ninja shoe. It's like a slip-on lace-up one. Um, this is more just a walking around the city type of shoe. And then I also have like a fall boot by them, which these are not super warm. So fall doesn't last too long, even though it's my favorite season. I love fall. Um, again, these are all in size 40. They're shearling lined, but they're not really that warm. So to be honest, yeah, pretty much past like October, November, you can't wear these. They're not warm enough. They do have um, additional insoles, but again, they're not warm enough, but they are very, very comfy. So definitely check that brand out. And then you guys probably know this hack if you already have wide feet, but any slip-on shoes like this, this is just from Urban Outfitters, is obviously way more comfy than a po pointy um, closed toe foot. Um, so these are just from Zara. I actually find Zara, surprisingly, um, their shoes like this are pretty comfy where the toes are open or like this. Another tip, um, I actually found was if you follow some plus size bloggers on YouTube or on their website, Instagram, a lot of times they will talk about shoes that they like. And if they're plus size, a lot of the times they might have a wider fitting foot. So if they're saying a shoe is comfy, you can kind of go by that. Um, also to check out plus size websites as well. The men's section is great. Um, what other tips do I have? So you can also get your shoes stretched at those shoe repair shops if it's like a leather shoe. Tying your shoes in a different way is really a big game changer. Um, you can always go up half of a size, just change your socks. Toe socks are a big game changer as well. Um, I am always surprised why more people don't talk about toe socks. Like when a normal sock is almost like how your hand is in a mitten, it's putting your toes like this. Toe socks can really um, make your feet more comfy throughout the day. Um, oh, I should add too that makes Vans comfier. For whatever reason, in the back of Vans, sometimes right where like the leather and the canvas meets, it's kind of like a big dip. So I put these from Dr. Scholl's in there and even when I put them in, like the last for years, I think in my black shoes, I've had these ones for probably four years, four, three or four years. And they've never moved and they make it a lot comfier as well so that's another tip you could always go up a little bit maybe like half a size so you have more room in the toe box put one of those in the back so all sorts of things like that so let me know any tips that you guys have for wide feet and also to let me know any brands of shoes that you really like